Oftentimes in IP video pro projects, we already have coaxial cable uh, extended uh, to where we want our cameras, usually to replace an analog camera device. Sometimes that analog camera device may have power to it or it may not. A lot of times it's more convenient if I can provide both uh, Ethernet connection and power over the coaxial cable. A very revolutionary product by Digitron allows us to do just that. This particular project is the VI2608 product, which also comes in a 16-port version. This particular one is 8-port. Basically, it takes a standard Ethernet connection that is not providing PoE, converts that over coax, and also provides PoE over that coax. It provides all versions of PoE that you require, such as 802.3AF and 802.3AT. You can then extend over a coaxial connection from 500 feet to 3,500 feet, depending on the type of power that you require on the other end. Basically, what happens is the Ethernet comes in one side, and your coaxial connection connects in, and the coaxial connection then needs to extend to one of the products provided by uh, Vigitron, either the 2400A product, which is their mini product, which has a built-in uh, BNC connection on the side, or the 2401 product, which also has a BNC connector built right into the chassis. Basically, I'm going to use this device. Make sure you do not, you do not need uh, local power to this device. It will receive its power over Ethernet. You need to remove this device because it won't power otherwise. And then basically, you're going to plug your coaxial connection into this. This connect cable connection coming from this Vigitron unit will receive both Ethernet and power on this side. We then basically plug our camera into the 10100 port on the other side. We need to properly ground this where we uh, on the other end if, where, when we can. And you'll notice as soon as I plug this in, this device is now getting power. And you'll notice that the camera is now booting. That's it. That's basically how you do it. You have some advanced configuration features of this device. You can program it either over USB or over Ethernet by assigning it an IP address. This is what the software looks like that is provided to you by Vigitron. Once you log on and you connect to the device, you have many options for configuring the device. I can upload firmware. I can adjust the configuration of multiple ports at once. And I can view the system. In this case, I'm going to pull the device. And you'll notice that my port number one is now delivering about 8 watts of power. I can change and adjust the configuration of each port. And I can see exactly what type of uh, device I'm having. In this case, an 802.3AF device is receiving power on the other end. I can adjust the ports to provide more power than I more power uh, in, in case you have a device that does require that. We can also have a bypass classification if that has to, if that is a problem. We can also force power if we require to, if we're required to with this force power option. You can also see statistics, and you can also disable or enable ports as needed. That's it. This is the Vigitron device for uh, VI2608 product for powering uh, cameras over uh, coaxial cable and also extending Ethernet up to 3,500 feet.